Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce you a notion of syntactic sugar, which is just a way to kind of uh, make the syntax a bit nicer. Uh, and what we're going to use uh, is the idea of uh, macros. I'm not going to introduce macros here. Uh, just assume it's a bit of magic. We all are going to cover it at some point. But this is the macro that would we we're going to be using. Uh, and what you want to understand from macros is just that it's this a step that happens before a program is executed that takes an AST and rewrites it so that the AST becomes, uh, you can have uh, features such as what follows. Um, so just to recap, it's going to be an operation that takes an AST and produces an AST, right? So it's e before you even run the code. Okay. So the idea is with this uh, notation, what we can do is we can have these do blocks. And these do blocks are an extension of racket, the racket syntax. And now notice that we can have this really nice syntax that is way closer to the, our, our pseudocode. So we do do, and then we write the variable we want, and then we do this little arrow. We could write whatever symbol we wanted. I just wanted to use an arrow. Um, as you can see it here, here's the arrow. Um, so for instance, the multiplication read in looking like the left hand side, after using the macro, becomes nice and small like this, nice and flat, right? It does, there's not this like weird confusing thing with the lambdas. Similarly, the um, pure operation, uh, pure is just a multiplication. Um, so if I want to introduce the pure operator, oh, okay, so I want to introduce the pure operator. The pure operator is simply something that, you know, if you want to um, assign a value to a variable in this, under this context, then you cannot simply assign to it because you need to make it convert it into an effectful operation. So the simplest effectful operation is called a pure one that doesn't touch the state. So it, it returns whatever state is given and assigns as a result the value that was used to create it. So if I do pure and I do uh, times x, y, that's the same as, um, you know, not changing the state and then just storing the result in z. Okay, because the value here is assigned to the result. So it's pretty, it's a nice way of, of converting non effectful operations into effectful operations. So you have to use this pure operator. So what we're doing here is we're doing pop multiplication can, can be rewritten as follows, you do pop of x pop of y, and then you assign the multiplication to a, a temporary variable, which you then, and in this step, you're not changing the, the, the stack. And finally, what you're doing is you're just pushing this the value here, because otherwise you would have, uh, you could have done as before, you could just have the multiplication there, but I wanted to introduce this pure construct. Um, so in summary, uh, what I taught you today is this idea of a, of a state. Uh, but this actually falls under the umbrella of something even more general, which is known as a monad. And monad is a functional pattern that has these two operators. The first one is the bind, which I just showed you. And the second one is this pure operator, which is just this. And what I will show you is that actually this functional pattern can be used in many different and perhaps surprising ways. Uh, and one of which is, for instance, um, handling exceptions. So handling exceptions can also be seen as a monad, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so just with functions, you can you can encode the behavioral of um, exceptions uh, in a very uh, similar way as you would expect. Okay. Um, so uh, this is uh, in this to think box. I just have an example that you could think of. How how would you represent a monadic map or a monadic fault if you wanted? which is just something to think. Uh, but yeah, but basically what I taught you today is this overarching uh, pattern, a very powerful pattern of, of functional programming languages called Monad. It was actually introduced in a programming language called Haskell, um, but can be used in many contexts. And it does appear people do reinvent it uh, multiple times in multiple programming languages when they ignore it. So that is why I want to introduce it. And I want to, to show to be aware of its power or expressiveness. Okay, I hope you had fun. Hope this is a bit of a different uh, module, as you will see. Uh, and I really hope you guys get excited about the quirkiness of it.